Well, let's talk about foreign key views in Epicor version 10.2. Have you ever been in one Epicor menu item and just wanted to see one or a few fields from another menu form without leaving your current screen? If so, foreign key views or FKVs may be just what you need. These can be valuable tools to reach into the system behind the scenes to get a read-only view of data from areas that are not readily available to you in the Epicor form you are in, at least out of the box. So these are the topics that we'll look at today. I will explain what foreign key views or FKVs are and the different types of foreign key views. I will give some examples of how you might use some foreign key views and then I will show how these FKVs can be set up. At the end, I will log into Epicor 10.2 to show some examples of the actual setup and use of foreign key views. What are foreign key views? A foreign key view is a link to a separate foreign table with similar data to a table used on the current form. To link foreign key fields between these two tables, they must share one or more common like property fields. The like property determines which foreign keys can link to other tables. So what are the different types of foreign key views? Here we can see from the drop down the three different types. They can be a single key view, which is the standard foreign key view, a subtable view, or a multi-key view. Many of your needs can be met using the single key view, linking on one field between the two tables. However, sometimes you need a subtable view, which is created after a single key view and joins on multiple fields between the parent table and the child table. If you want to join your data for a foreign key view to a user-defined table, you will use a multi-key view. Multi-key views join on multiple fields, which can be from multiple views in your database form. So how might you use some foreign keys? No, we're not talking about a foreign language or a house key. One example of an Epicor foreign key I can think of that many Epicor users may want to see is the quantity on hand. Or you may want to see additional customer information for the selected customer. Another example could be viewing the minimum, maximum, and safety quantities for a part by selecting the part. The list is pretty endless as to what you can see. Just about any tables that you can link together, you can create a foreign key view. If you'd like to, f feel free to post any examples of how, of how you have used foreign key views and how they were created. So this slide shows how to set up a foreign key view for a single key view. A single key view can be set up by clicking the new custom view button, giving the view a name, and typing in the parent name which would be an already existing view on the left. Epicor will fill in the view type as foreign key view when you are linking on one of the already existing views that is not a foreign key view. Next you pick a column from the parent table that the two tables will link on and that's the column name. The like column value the adapter name and the get by type are automatically filled in by Epicor. So the two tables have in common the customer num, the order head customer num, and the customer customer num. The final step is to click the add button before you click OK. The add button is right there and then you click OK. You should get a message telling you that your foreign key view created successfully. By the way, to delete your foreign key view, select the item in the left area and then click the edit custom view and click the delete button before you click OK. Here we can see the results from two different sales orders for a single key view, foreign key view. We can view all the customer fields related to the first sales order that was a customer ID of Dalton. And then we can see the customer information for garden on the second sales order. Next we'll show how to set up your foreign key view for a subtable view. And this screen shows this, how those get set up. A subtable key view can be set up by clicking the new custom view button, giving the view a name, and typing in the parent view name, which would be an already existing 
foreign key view so our parent name was part and then choosing from the drop down the view type as subtable view then you would pick your subtable name and your link columns view will show actually the higher level the order detail here until you actually click OK for the view then it would show the actual parent view name you would pick a parent view column and a child view column to link together between the two tables the part and the part plant and you would continue with then you would click add button to move them down here then you would click another parent view column and another child view column and click the add to bring them down here so you you would have to be familiar with how the tables link together in this case we need the company and the part number to link the two tables together once we have the linking fields listed here then we can click the add button down here and then click OK and if you accidentally click this add button before you have all your fields here you can go ahead and do the edit custom view and then add more parent and child columns click this add button to bring them down here and once you have them all down here then click the add button down here and say OK now you can view information from your new foreign key view that is a subtable view type so here we can see the results from two different sales order lines on the same sales order after selecting which line we are interested in viewing we can view all the part plant fields related to the first sales order line for part 001 MPC ONS then we can see the part plant information for the last line on the sales order for part 0 SK1 each of these examples shows the minimum maximum and safety quantity for each part warehouse which is one of the places where you can list minimum max and safety it's actually not for each part warehouse for each part plant so here we see a little bit about how to set up foreign key views for a multi key view a multi key view has many more setup steps due to time constraints I did not have an, an example of this type of view I was able to start to show you how to get you started but then did not complete the setup needed for the UD table in the foreign key view itself. First, in order to see a UD table, you must make a backup copy of your context menu XML file, which is found in this directory, your Epicor client client RES folder, and add some code as shown here, right before the last line in the new version of your context menu.xml file. Another option is to add code to the script editor for your UD table view. An example was found on Epic Web, but it's also in Visual Basic, so it would need to be con converted to C Sharp. Once you have the background steps done, the foreign key, multi key view can be set up pretty similarly to the other. Click the new custom view button, you give your view a name and then you choose the type of foreign multi-key view you don't bother with the parent view name because it could be many parents next you choose the like column which would be your UD view then you choose the key views view from the drop down list in this example we have the customer and choose each field to link to the five key fields in your UD table so in this case we were linking on customer ID, name, group code, and then a couple more fields. And remember to click the add button in the middle after adding each field. And then when you're done and you're happy with your list, click the add button here and then the OK button at the bottom. You should get a message telling you that your foreign key view created successfully. You will need to link to all five keys even if you don't use all five keys you would then choose to link a, to a string field that is null for any keys key number fields that are not used if all of your setup and background portion is correct you should be able to use your 
new foreign key view. So now we'll take a, a closer look at some of the examples that we set up in Epicore 10 2. So in order to see any of our examples and to create any foreign key views itself, you will have to go into whatever screen that you would like to customize and add a foreign key view. And we're going to go ahead and click on the developer mode here. Otherwise, we won't be able to add a foreign key view. So I'm going into the order entry, and this is where I already created my previous foreign key views. And I'm going to select my customization of FKV. So we're going to Tools and Customization to bring up the customization mode. And you need to have developer rights in your user account to be able to do this. So if you don't have developer rights, you need to talk to your ERP manager or your IT person and ask them if you can get those permissions. Once you're in customization mode, you're going to go to Tools and Data Tools. That's where the foreign key views reside. And you can see all the existing views that are behind the sales order form. And then we will add different foreign key views here. So we've already done a couple of foreign key views here to the order head. We've added a regular foreign key view, a single key view. We named it the cust details. The parent view is the order had and the view type is foreign key view. And we picked the order had dot custom as the column name and then the like column of customer num and the adapter name, customer adapter, and get by ID is the get by type all filled in automatically by Epicor. We then click add and OK and we have our existing foreign key view. We also added a similar foreign key view for the part to the order detail because the parts are at your order line level. So we have our order detail is the parent view and the foreign key view and then the part num is our column name and then the other fields filled in. We clicked add and OK. After we added the part we added a subtable view that links to the parent view name of part and we called our view name subplant and the subtable we picked the view type of subtable view and then the subtable name we picked was part plant and as mentioned previously the link columns view would normally show order detail until you go ahead and add the view and then it shows the correct view here so then we clicked the um, parent view columns and child view columns to link. So we clicked the part company and the subplant company and then we clicked add and then that brought it down here. Then we clicked the part part number and the subplant part number and then we clicked add and then that brought it down here. And then finally we clicked the add button down at the bottom and we said OK and that gave us our subtable. So now we can go ahead and see some examples of those particular foreign key views in place. So you'll notice that I added a foreign key view tab here to show our customizations on a separate tab. That helps with upgrading. So we can see all the information about the customer on this sales order. The customer is Garden and we can see their name, address, just about all fields in the customer table for this 
particular customer. And then in the lower portion we have the part plant details. So we can see for this part that was listed on the sales order what the minimum, maximum, and safety quantity are, what their cost in lot sizes, any of the information that's on the part plant details. So here we can see it's garden and here is the part that was on the other section there. We can look at another sales order and here we can see they have three lines so we'll go to the foreign key view and see the results of the first line first and here we can see the customer details for Dalton and then the part plant details for the first part 001 MPCONS and we can see the min max safety all zeros in this case. If we go back to the summary tab and click a different line, for example the last line, and then we go back to our foreign key view, here we can see we still have the same customer information, but then we switched parts, so we have 0SK1 part and their minimum, maximum safety, etc. and costing lot size. And all the information related to the part plant for that part. We'll go back into customization just to show you how to link up your foreign key view to the grids that were shown. So in order to link up your foreign key views what you'll do is go to the custom tab that I created and Go to Tools and Toolbox to pick an Epi Ultra Grid. That's what these are called, that you can add the grid um, format to your screen. Once you have those added on your screen, then you can select which grid you're going to look at. We can close the toolbox here. And we can see this is our customer details one I renamed it to show the text customer details and then we did the epi binding that's how it connects to your view remember we named our view cust deta details and so we clicked the epi binding to connect it to that view and those are all the other views that we saw when we looked at the tools data tools and here on the part plant details we picked our epi binding of sub plant and we put our text part plant details in the epi, the epi ultra grid. You can do the same thing with a text box you can just add a text box if you only wanted to see one field and then make sure to do your epi binding to that view and which particular field you wanted to see. So that concludes the demo in Epicor 10.2. So foreign key views can be a great way to view the data you want to see. If anyone comes up with any more examples after this presentation, feel free to log them in the comments and give others ideas about how to use foreign key views. Create your foreign key views in your test training or pilot environments wherever your sandbox is located and prove they work as you expect and have no issues before moving them to live. Thank you for watching this presentation today. For this video and more, please check out the Coda Bears YouTube channel and let us know about any ideas you have for future subjects for our live Lunch and Learns. Thank you again.